Aha! There it is. I wasn't that far off. Eh. Just need to go over here a bit. See that big boy thing with the ice cream over there? That is where you tell you're close to Paradise Falls. That is Paradise Falls over there. So I was talking about the BS statue. Let's head over in that direction, shall we? Now, one thing I'm gonna say though is that I haven't I haven't done this as I said, I haven't done this in a long time. So I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna say to the guy there. So I'm probably gonna do a quick save and make sure I don't say the wrong thing and get him to kill me. Ah! Ooh, that guy's a Chinese officer sword. Oh no, you ain't running away now, bitch. You challenged my honor. Yeah, just shoot for it. Daka! Daka, 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 daka. You suck. I have to do it myself. Once again, how do I shoot him in the head and his legs just fall off? I don't know, the Chinese officer sword is good early on. But now it's just not really worth it. Good doggy. More guard dogs. They really don't look very healthy, do they? Ooh. Nice, nice. Scrap metal. Medics, medics. This looks like a bloody junkie's place. Ooh. Take that, and take that. Steel just. Ryan. I'm pretty sure taking Mentats increases your lockpicking, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Wrong way. Wrong way. God, I'm an idiot. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Actually, No point now in that Chinese pistol. I don't know, Chinese pistols, stuff like the Mauser, it's really good in real life. The Chinese That's not good! I gotta get out of here. I do not... I am not going to let someone freaking shoot a missile launcher at me whilst I'm in a van like that. Oh my... Okay. Is he gonna do that, are you? You can't have play the freaking soldiers game from TF2. Shoot me some more, shoot me some more. You just practically killed your own guy, well done. Uh, oh, six. I have to remember the bloody hotkey. My gosh. Okay, you with the... Oh. Yeah, lose the missile launcher. Come on, do something cool. Look at her, she just falls apart. Oh! You're not very good, are you? Oh, oh okay then. <laughs> You're really not very good. Nothing. So I'm pretty sure that is a scripted event. Right there. Did I? No, I didn't. But the condition kind of makes me want to take that. So I will. At least those dogs didn't come after me. Animal friend, drown devil's crossing. I don't know what that's all about. It's this area, but why it has its own checkpoint, I really don't know. Now. Uh, where's Paradise Falls again? Best get up on here. Yeah, a nice 
look at the place. Ah, yes, can't see. I can see. I really hope I don't do terribly with this slaving business. I'm not really used to it. But it's good money making. There's a lot of dogs about. So it'd be quite annoying if I didn't have the animal friend perk. See, why I wanted to get out of that van so quickly. You know, missile launcher whilst I'm inside a van. <laughs> Alright. Put me on edge. I heard a weird noise. So apparently Paradise Falls was a shopping complex. Before the bombs dropped. Now it's Slaver's HQ. Let's just find my way around. Yeah. See, now I actually have a real reason to keep neutral karma outside of the fact I just want to appear as a mercenary. You know, that, that perk that I took. Plus 30 speech if I'm on neutral karma. That's good. It's nice to have. I just hope I don't do anything too horrible. If I take too much bad karma, I will become bad. And then I don't want to be bad. Then I'll have to do good stuff, and doing too much good stuff just makes me feel dirty. So it is kind of a good thing that I took the wrong turn at Albuquerque, how I went to that radio station. Because uh, I may not have come across the Firelands. But that's the first time I've ever been so close to a UFO crashing like that. Enough to actually get tonked in the head by a by an alien power cell. That was awesome. So, toom, tunk, ow. I went the completely wrong direction, didn't I? I could have just gone right. <sighs> I'm pretty sure this is the right direction. I just can't help but get the feeling that these videos are pretty boring. Hey, it's Fallout 3. There's going to be a lot of walking across the wastelands. Especially when I'm going to places I have yet to discover. But yeah, this, this is the entrance. I should discover Paradise Falls now. Please discover Paradise Falls. Thank you. Now, quick saving. Hold it right there. Nobody's allowed into Paradise Falls except on slaver business. And I get to decide what qualifies as slaver business. Paradise Falls, what's that? Oh, can I head on up? Never mind, it's not a place I want to be. I'll be naive and ask what's that. Are you kidding me? You've never heard of Paradise Falls? What? Are you right out of the vault? Paradise Falls is home to the slavers. Up there, we sell the slaves that we capture out in the wastes. So, unless you're either buying or selling, piss off. Oof. Slaves, huh? Well, everyone's got to make a living. True. Yep, and if you're not tough enough to survive, at least you can be useful to those of us who are. I don't have time to chit-chat with help. Let me in already. Why can't I go up there? I won't cause any trouble. I just want to look around. I don't want to seem hostile, because these people are kind of... They will... They won't take much hostility. Why can't I go up there? There's two kinds of people who get into Paradise Falls. Slaves and slavers. So, unless you're looking to become a slave, piss off! Everyone has a price, what's yours? That was your problem, man. Maybe there's something you need, huh? I help you, you let me in. Deal? What I need is for you to piss off. Eulogy Jones doesn't have time for putting up with morons and assholes like you. That's my job. But even I got limits. And all you're yapping is giving me a migraine. Oh, he's gonna Give shoot me some me, reason I shouldn't just end you. Right here and now. What if I were to get you some slaves? Then would you let me in? I'm going 
I'm pretty sure I want to say that. Think you got what it takes, do you? Hmm. Yeah, I might have something you can do for me. If you don't screw it up, maybe I can get you into paradise. Think you can round us up some assets? You want a fucking resume? <laughs> Just tell me what to do, asshole. Oh, uh, God, I've had too much with those these days. Can't be that hard, can it? I mean, you're a slaver after all. I can enslave criminals and the like, right? I don't have... I don't have to enslave innocents. And, uh... Oh, I see. You're some kind of hot shot. Fine. <laughs> Here's the deal. Eulogy's got a few special contracts he wants filled. I'm too busy, or I grab them myself. So you're going to do it for me. Do this for me, and I'll get you into paradise. And if you don't screw it up, I might even split the commission with you. Alright, I've got some slaves for you, but what's the catch? Alright, some slaves. Hmm. Is there actually a catch, though? I don't know, what is the catch? I'm glad you asked. I got this Mesmatron thing. It's some kind of stun gun. I want you to test it out for me. A little research project. You take this Mesmer, shoot it at some poor schmuck. While he's in La La Land, you slip one of these collars over his head. Be careful with that collar. It'll explode if you tinker with it. Tell the slave to boot it over here pronto or his head'll pop. You got all that? I hate repeating myself. That Mesmatron came with some kind of manual. I don't have time for that bullshit, so you better know how to read. <laughs> Strictly business. May as well do this. Get me some bad karma and some... some money. Susan Lancaster. Red. Oh, I remember Red. And flak. Well, I have to do something, ain't I? Maybe I could like do one for now, and then see what the bad karma is. And if I'm still good, I'll do another. And then if I go neutral, then I'll probably do one more just to get totally under, so I'm not on the edge of good. And to be honest, if I do some bad, if I get into bad, well then. It's not quite as bad. I'll just give somebody some purified water. Yeah, it's purified. Uh, tell me more about these uh, preferred targets that you want me to enslave. You want just these VIPs, or do you want some other slaves too? Uh, tell me about the preferred targets. Which one do you want to know about? Oh, I don't know anything about Susan Lancaster. Susan Lancaster lives at Tenpenny Tower. She was one of us. Let's just say she never paid the exit price. Red? Red is that hot doctor chick from Big Town. She made us some promises that she never paid up. Now it's time to collect. Mm. Flack used to be one of us. Thinks he can make a new life in Rivet City. He sold us out on more than one occasion. It's time for retribution. Great! Wasn't my idea to spend all day talking about these assholes. <laughs> Tell the slave collar. Jesus! Do you ever <laughs> shut the hell up? What do you want to know? Oh, God. Look, I gave you that Mesmatron thing. Should be a piece of cake. Hell, if you hit them with that thing and it works, I bet they'd put it on themselves if you asked. Great, I was wondering when you'd finally shut up. <laughs> Alright then. It's going to be slightly difficult for one of them. Red and Flack, I can get easy enough. Susan Lancaster in Tenpenny Tower. That's going to prove a bit more difficult, because getting into Tenpenny Tower isn't something you just wander and say, can I come in? I never did go to Tenpenny Tower, did I? 